So we come to the second move um, with the basic two, basic two together, the eight brocades movements and with the, eight, the 18 form Qigong sequence at the end, so it's like 26 moves. Uh, this is the second, and the second of the eight brocades moves, but we're going down the line of the Pilates setup and the yogic setup uh, with nice hypnotic principles with the breath, which I'll explain as we go. Um, and yeah, this one is taken from the eight brocades. Um, it is what it says basically within the traditional form. It's called two hands lift to raise the condition of the stomach and the spleen. Bit of a mouthful, but um, as with all these Qigong sequences, they benefit different meridians, organ, um, or meridians or organs, electromagnetic rivers, meridians. In in short, that's a slight detail what it is. Um, but we're going to go down right now with the breathing and then link it to motion. So we're gonna go straight into that. So unlike the traditional form where you breathe in the belly like a balloon, we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals now, and even get the two middle fingers touching underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, the breastbone. And again, as you breathe in through the nose and out through pursed lips, the usual Pilates way, that, uh, I don't know if you can see the two middle fingers slightly part and come back to touch each other. And it's a, even if it's a micro move, a millimetre or so, that's happening. So as you zip up pelvic floor now, scoop out your abdominals, breathe in through the nose, just keep it simple. And exhale as usual with a Pilates breathing out through pursed lips. Okay, that's going to help us breathe into them lower lobes and lungs. But we're going to slightly change that, we're keep the mouth shut and go down more like a yogic breath, breathing it out through the nose. Because it's a smaller filter through the nose, that's gonna help us filter the breath and lengthen the breath in a more beneficial way of lengthening the breath. Within the yogic postures, asanas, th that out breath will help you get into the postures, depending on what style, obviously. Um, that helps get into the postures even easier, as with this. So as we do that now, we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, breathing in and out through the nose, as that breath's just going naturally into them lower lobes and lungs, anywhere but the stomach, okay? That will help us use the pelvic floor and the corset in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button as we zip up pelvic floor and gather in now, but into these fish gills, 3D style. Okay, and as you're breathing in and out through the nose, that smaller filter through the nose in a yogic way, you will feel the length of the breath, that cleansing breath. Okay, and you also, as you do that now, will feel the out breath want to fall longer than the in breath. Okay, so as that happens, just allow that to happen, okay, naturally, as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals right now, breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. And just allow that out breath to fall longer than the in breath. So that becomes slightly hypnotic in a way as the in breath's conscious thought, the out breath's subconscious thought. A bit like 7 11 breathing uh, in hypnotherapy, they use that sometimes. It can be 5, you know, not necessarily 7 11, it can be 5 and 9, whatever it is your count. But just make that out breath longer than the in breath. So as you do that now, quadruplet, doublet, triplet within your limits, that out breath longer than the in breath. Just make it longer than the in breath. Quadruplet, doublet, or triplet longer than the in breath without forcing anything naturally. Okay, now again, the in breath's conscious thought, the out breath's subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all on that lovely elongated out breath. Okay, so just allow that to happen and consciously do that. Okay, so again, breathe the breath as it were, be within your breath, within the breath. Be with the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, as you're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and naturally elongating that out breath, longer than your in breath, do 
or feel them parasympathetic responses, them benefits in the body. All the housekeeping parts of the body are being benefited by elongating the out breath, longer than the in breath, right now. Lovely. As you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, you're throwing that corset, that powerhouse, that girdle of strength, the transverse abdominus muscle, three layers deep, just all segmentally stabilizing the spine. And that breath goes in low and deep to the lower lobes of the lungs, naturally. Now, lovely. Now, now you can stick with that breathing. Or we, when we link it to this motion, we calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion while elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. That's fine. You've got all the principles in there. If you want to make the yogic breath slightly more advanced, optional. If you can't get it, don't worry. Just carry on doing the breathing you're doing as we talk. But otherwise, the ujjayi breath in the grip of the esophagus, the back of the throat, we're going to narrow that and make a sign whistling silky breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. So as we do that now, we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, same way. We're going to breathe in for the nose. And it make this sound. Anyways, to demonstrate. It's like a sign whistling silky breath. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, called seashore breathing. Again, grip the esophagus, breathing for the nose. And exhale. That lovely raspy, silky, whistling breath. Okay, that Ujjayi breath. Maybe sort of Darth Vader breath in a way. It's, you can hear that breath. Gives the mind something to focus on within the breath. Okay, it's like natural focusing breath. Sometimes when people do a fine motor skill like threading a needle, something like that, they naturally do that without even thinking. A lot of sort of sighing breath, focusing breath. Okay, so again, as you do that, you will find, as you do that now, you find that lengthens the breath even longer. Okay, even longer that breath will lengthen. And if you can't get that, don't worry, just carry on breathing into them lower lobes of the lungs, in and out through the nose as you zip up and scoop out your abdominals. Take the navels towards the spine. If you can get the ujjayi breath, as you grip that esophagus and exhale. You'll get that raspy, silky, whistling ujjayi breath from the back of the throat. Okay, and again, that will lengthen the breath even longer especially that out breath and help us stimulate the thyroid glands, help with weight control, etc. Help us build the heat within the body internally. Help us fire the fan, burn all the toxins in the body. Help that internal alchemy of the body. And as you're doing that, as you're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, <clears throat> throwing on that corset and lengthen that out breath longer than the in breath, either with that ujjayi breath or not, or feel the benefits on a cellular level, okay? Everything improves. The in-breath's conscious thought, the out-breath's subconscious thought. So again, cellular communication, even the organs communicate in, again, blood flow, everything you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, will you benefit? by lengthening the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Okay, that lovely chemical cascade of relaxation, all found on that lovely elongated out-breath as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. Allowing that breath to manifest in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. That, it's an inside job there, lovely. So, we're gonna just link that to motion again. The hands come up and down, and then we come out this way, come narrowly, and come back. So again, we're gonna, so basically, I'm gonna come back here to demonstrate, struggling for a bit of room there. So the hands come here. Again, my shoulder hitched in, I'm gonna keep it down. And then come to here. I'm gonna come back to here, they come in line, come narrow. Again, this palm pushes up, this palm pushes down. Then we alternate. Again, I'm struggling for a bit of room there. And then we push up here, we push up. Now this is the exhale part here. 
This is the inhale, and then we exhale, we make this longer. Okay, pushing up towards the ceiling. Take the hands back and stretch these flexors, these finger flexors, the forearms there. And we come to here, shoulders wanna come up, so allow them to drop in towards the body and push. Really elongate the out breath, longer than your breath, we breathe in, sharper, and we exhale. Now we're gonna go back to demonstrate that with a little bit more room, so from here, Breathing in. Shoulders down and elongate this part of the motion. As you gather in, zip up and hollow, lengthen the movement on the out breath. If you're gonna make this, get these obliques, these external obliques, you can just partially empty the foot and reach. Or not even partially empty the foot. If you wanna reach a little bit further, you can do. Keep yourself stacked, hips, hips and shoulders stacked, and reach here. Imagine the tip of the little finger stretching down towards this hip. Reach. If you need support here, you can do that. Okay, if you're a bit worried about the spine, zip up, scoop out your abdominals, navel towards the spine, reach, and exhale. Again, you're gonna keep the foot on the floor, you can do, or partially empty, see what suits you. It's your union of your mind and body, breathing in, exhale. Over here or here. <clears throat> and as you elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, just use that like a tool. That's the bridge between the mind and the body. That's our gauge to see how deeply we can get into these postures without even trying or trying not to try. Lovely. So that was number two of the eight brocades. Got the golden eagle next. Again, taking an arrow to shoot the golden eagle or let the arrow fly. That's number three of the eight brocades. Uh, but again, we're, it's just the motion we're taking and adding these, this different type of breathing in there. The Pilates, the yoga, and the hypnotic type of breath in there. Lovely, but that's number two, bang.